Hey, everybody. Welcome to a lovely freezing cold Monday mm -hmm. night where we live. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's not too, too bad. It's 36. So that's yeah, not quite freezing. But the wind's blowing, so it's a little chilly in the wind chill. But it was like 65 yesterday, so, you know. Yeah, it was really nice on Saturday. It was great over Friday. the weekend. <laughs> yeah. um, so, I'm mm -hmm. Nikki, still. I'm chilly. And guess what? We're the Davises. We are. We are. I don't think that's ever going to change. Hope God not. It's <laughs> awfully expensive if it does. Oh, jeez, right? Yeah, let's not even talk about that yeah, <laughs> right ugh. now. Um, so, it's been relatively warm, certainly for December. Yeah. Um, storm blew through last night, colder than crap today. Mm -hmm. So, guess what? We are mixing up a little Caribbean inspired meal. Yeah. Because it's just too cold outside. We want the warm weather back. Yeah, it's just too cold. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be 70, like on Saturday again. Yeah, but it's not going to rain, though. <laughs> be nasty, so welcome, so. welcome to life in the Midwest. Yeah. Um, so, a little shrimp. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not on the Barbie, but under the broiler. Yep. Um, confetti rice, which I'll share a, a wee bit of that history later. And you were, like, jonesing for some pineapple juice. So, what are we having here? We're having a vodka pineapple with a little bit of added Color. Touch, little tatted color. Not a little added oomph. A little added color. Well, color's good. Yeah, color. We're going to make it cute. Make it, We're going to make it fruity and cute, my husband yeah. said. We're going to make it cute. Because <laughs> why not? Hey, I'm good with that. Yeah. I like fruity drinks. Okay. So tell us that you're watching, where you're watching from. Yeah. What you're drinking for. If, if, if you're from another continent or... Something else, let us know. Well, no, it's it's like 1 30 in the morning, another continent. Well, that's okay. They can still watch. They can stay well, up late. Sometimes they do. You wanna ice, ice me you up? down? Yeah. Ice me up, ice me down. So <clears throat> the key ingredient to this cocktail tonight. It's freshly because, squeezed. Because we're not gonna get Whoop. real crappy mm. on a Monday night. It's pineapple juice. So we're going to put four ounces of pineapple juice in each glass. And people like, you know, wonder why I use a little mixing cup instead of a shot glass. Shot glass. This is just easier. Well, that and you can see the, the ounce marks. Ounce marks and better, I, can go, yeah. I can go one ounce, half ounce, ounce and a half, two ounces. Quarter ounce. Okay. We're going to go two ounces of our vodka. We're using Tito's. Tito's. Because we like vodka Tito's. Vodka for dog lovers. Vodka for dog lovers, yep. Yeah. And potato lovers, I guess. Probably the. Well, I mean, yeah, technically, but yeah. Tito's does a lot of uh, animal. Animal support? Yeah. That's good of them. Chasing those nickels around. I'll move that out of the way. All right. So the color that we're adding is just some good old grenadine. And if you didn't have grenadine, you could oh, use cherry juice. I forgot an important part. We did? Yeah. Uh-oh. Some lime juice. A little extra citrus. A little extra, well, a little different citrus. So we want a half ounce of lime juice. In each? In each, yeah. Cool. Squirt. Well, freshly squeezed. Freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go. And then the really cool part about the grenadine is that it is denser and heavier than the other items that we're putting in. Mm -hmm. So if we just put our little bar spoon off to the side and add a little dash. A little sunrise action going on. Yeah, it just kind of floats to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you could use cherry juice, but you won't quite get the same effect. Effect. No. But you, you'll get a similar flavor. You will get a similar flavor. Yeah. But grenadine is more dense. It's heavier. Mm -hmm. However. And because we like cherries. I like cherries in my pineapple drinks. We're going to garnish a little bit with some cherries. Looks a little bit like a Murfreesboro Red Devil. Yeah. Since my mother is watching. Yeah. <laughs> for you, madame. Thank you. And for me. Cheers. 
Oh, those? those it does. Are, those mm -hmm. are Very good. Dangerous. Oh, yeah. They'll, uh. And I mean, you could stir it up if you really wanted to, but. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You lose the look. Hey, Brady. So, Brady. So, here's the finished cocktail. I'm like. So, you've got the red at the bottom, the pineapple juice, the vodka, and the lime juice all mixed in. And the grenadine floats all the way down. It does. Yep. And it, it's good all the way down, too. Mm -hmm. So what else we got? So um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to move my oven rack because I'll forget to do it later. However, we're not going to start there. But well, we probably need to preheat, though, don't we? No, we actually don't need to preheat. Wow. Well, well, that is a, a common occurrence in this household. So it is. And thankfully, we don't have to because then I would, like, be my Gross. own Caribbean island. Yeah. Um, yeah. so usually when I do rice on the show, I cook the rice ahead of time <laughs> in the instant pot In the instant pot mm -hmm. pressure cooker, mm -hmm. pressure cooker. Um, tonight we're going to go old school and do everything from scratch just because I never have and show you how easy it is to do. Now <laughs> doing the stove top, this could easily be done same way in the instant pot. And I can walk you through that as we're doing this. Um, and however, a, it's a lot less likelihood of not turning out of the instant pot either well yeah pretty much yeah, it's um, like, but it's there, there's a couple of reasons why i'm doing stove top tonight we'll talk about the pitfalls of the instant pot for this recipe but um so confetti rice rainbow rice very caribbean one is jamaican one is dominican um mm -hmm. and really what you're what i'm putting together is inspired um oh. by <laughs> the air quotes got used already. because just because we have what we have available here and that's what we use. So, um, but it's rice with a lot of very colorful vegetables and Caribbean spices and coconut milk. And depending on regionally in the Caribbean, a little bit different variations. Um, but it is one of my favorite, <coughs> bless you. I was waiting for a sneeze. No, I just have a cough. <laughs> Um, because of the coconut milk, it's one of my favorite ways to cook and, of course, eat rice. Um, yeah. Doing it stove top, so it is going to take a little bit of time. So we'll uh, we'll we'll talk. <gasps> We're going to have to talk. Oh my god! Oh jeez. Um, but right now, I have about a tablespoon of olive oil. Mm -hmm. You're getting your vitamins this way too by yes. drinking this cocktail. Lots of vitamins in here. But I'm going to add some garlic cloves too. I have five. <laughs> Use more or less oh, as you want. Let me uh, get you over there. Because I have a new fangled garlic smasher. Nope, that's not it. That's it. So yeah, so during flu season, this is a really good cocktail to drink because of all the pineapple juice. And this is a really good the lime juice rice recipe to battle eat off because the, of the garlic. <laughs> battle off the bad bugs. Okay, oh yeah, so the garlic does garlic, that too. Yeah. Garlic going in. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Ooh, I've never used this one before. There's always a first time. Might as well do it live. Well, it's my risotto spoon, but it works really well with rice. So we're going to. All right. Now, there we go. I'm kind of breaking my own rules with the garlic and putting it in before anything else. Yeah, comes I was about to say, you're not supposed to do that. So I'm going to have to wash it. You're going to have to have me get a spoon and I'll stir it. And put it on low, because the last thing we want to do is burn it. That's right. But everything else is going to go in here already cooked, so I have to cook it. Oh, you got it. You're, you're good to go on it. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there for a minute. Okay. Um, next thing that's going to go in is two cups of rice. Oh. Where are we? Uh, I stay over here because everything's going okay. in already. Um, we're cheating a little bit tonight with our ingredients and they are already pre-prepped for me because I bought them from the freezer section and I'll tell you why I did that in a little bit. Here we go. Come on. Well, we're down to one person. Who's our sole survivor? <laughs> My mother. Uh, could be Brady. Her mother might be working here. Would you just take that? So I can... Yep. Got All it. right. So we're going to. Toast this rice a little bit in that olive oil and get that garlic moving. What do you need? Here. Tie that up around it if you want to. All 
right, so I turned the heat back on now that I've got something in with the garlic. We're going to let this toast just a bit because it's going to release some of that nuttiness that we love from our rice. Um, so I was having a conversation with one of my girlfriends over the weekend who is a single mom. And we were talking about the difficulties of getting meals on the table um, when you work for a living and have to pick up kids from school and run kids around and all those kinds of things, let alone if you're a single mom. Um, so we're using a lot of convenience foods tonight just to kind of show how we can cheat a little bit, make things move a little bit faster. For See, it's Brady. He needs, <laughs> he needs butter. Well, it'll probably get some butter. There's, there's a good chance it'll get butter in, in there sometime. Well, go get the butter dish. I'll put some butter in here for Brady. I don't care. <laughs> Butter's good. Butter's always good. I mean, you know, sometimes I don't always use butter. But how's that? Uh, look like about a teaspoon. Tablespoon. Oh, tablespoon. That's what I meant to say. There you go, Brady. Got some butter in there for you. All right. So now we're going to melt that butter down. So now we have a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. And we're going to let that go just a bit. So every cup of rice that you do stovetop, you need two cups of liquid. Um, and I already kind of have this measured out. So I've got a 14 ounce can of pineapple tidbits that are going to go into the rice later. And about a cup of pineapple juice liquid here. Oh. Pineapple juice. I'll stir. Thank you. I have two cups of coconut milk. So that's roughly three cups of liquid. Yeah. And then I'm going to finish it off with a cup of water. And it is unsweetened coconut milk, by the way. Why do you have unsweetened? So you can control what you're going, what's going in here. Oh. All right. So that gets turned up to a boil. You're fine. You can you can let it be. And this is the part where we're going to have to wait a bit. Sorry. We're gonna. It just is what it is. Let's, do we sing? Let it be. Let it be. We can sing. Let it be. Sure. Uh, um. Right. So I don't know. in the rice. I don't now, want any copyright infringements on us. Two cups of YouTube's. dry rice is going to make quite a bit of cooked rice. So it it's going to take on quite a bit of vegetables. So I have some frozen corn. Mm -hmm. I have some frozen corn that Joy is going to show you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was. I was getting my drink. There you go. I have thawed this. All I have to do is pop it in later. And I have a bag of peppers and onion strips. Now, I am going to take time to cut these into dices, but out of the freezer, um, like 99 cents for the corn. And you can see I don't always buy brand name. I buy generic. Um, these are like two bucks, and by the time you buy enough onion and pepper to make this, you're spending probably more than, more than bucks, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, not any more expensive, certainly, and a shortcut. And these, just like it says right here, great for fajitas, stir fries, and pizzas, and rice mm -hmm. dishes. <laughs> so, and rice dishes. Um, some convenience foods tonight, and of mm -hmm. course, the canned pineapple, and we're making things easy. Um, but I'm not quite not quite ready to put these in. Well, then I'll get it back to us. There. Um, because that is going to take about 15 minutes, probably, give or take. Oh, then. So. We should have sang Let It Be then. We could, yeah. Uh, I don't know the lyrics. That's okay. I have, uh, sorry, I can't remember things. Um, so I have this paprika recipe mm -hmm. management app on my, on my every device, quite honestly which is what I'm peeking at back here mm -hmm. um, because I've got, I don't know, a good 1,500 recipes in it now. Um, wow. That's a lot of recipes, huh? So even things that I make sometimes, <laughs> I still have to peek at the recipe when I make them. We, we are. We're uh, live on YouTube and on Facebook at the we same are. time. Live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. You can go find us on Facebook. 
He's on Facebook. He's or on YouTube. There. Sorry. Yeah, you could use the same name, Rooted mm -hmm. in Foods, and you'll find us in both places. Right. So I'm going to start adding spices to this, and then we'll start working on our shrimps. So a little bit of salt. But you can talk to us easier through Facebook, I believe. Well, yeah, I think it's easier. Although, you know, not many people are watching on YouTube, so that wouldn't be much. Yeah. Well, I don't know if the if the people can see that it, you know, whenever they comment on mm -hmm. YouTube, it shows here. We don't know. Um, so I'm using a little bit of allspice. If you don't like allspice, skip this. If you're allergic to cinnamon, don't use it. Uh, oh, well, yeah, but this is a, if you're allergic, allergic to cinnamon, this should be okay. Yeah. I would just state in the obvious. Because allspice, contrary to the name, is not all spices. <laughs> no, it all is spices, a spice. Yeah, a little berry. Um, it's not a mix of spices. Don't worry, Dub. I'll do it again. Oh, yeah. And we'll just kind of get those going in here. As typical, I will add more. He'll make more. Mm -hmm. No worries. So, pop them over here so I don't have to sling coconut milk anywhere. Whoops. Yeah. So I'm actually using a risotto spoon there we go. Um, to stir, and it's because the rice flows through that hole. That's what the hole is there, so you can um, stir risotto and make it really creamy as opposed to a solid spoon that kind of paddles things around. Um, I find it works really well with rice, too. Oh. All right, we're going to leave that. We're going to let that boil. Again, 15, give or take minutes. No, we didn't set a timer. I'm, I can watch it. Don't right. worry too much. We're going to pause for a commercial break. Yeah. A cocktail break. <laughs> and we're going to mix up our shrimp spices as soon as I remember what they are. Brown sugar, allspice, pepper, garlic, onion. Okay. I think I can remember that. That is a, that is a really tasty cocktail. You know? It is actually very good. How many pounds very of sugar? Okay, so I've got about a tablespoon of brown sugar. So mm -hmm. this is the spice mix for my shrimps. Let me get you over there. Bingo. There we go. Thank you. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. You don't want to use raw garlic necessarily in this because um, it tastes like raw garlic when it comes out. So use. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Oh, I'm warm. Yeah. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm always warm. About the same in onion powder. I've got almost two pounds of shrimp, so this looks like a lot, but it's not really. A little bit more of the allspice. Allspice is pretty, pretty strong, so you don't want a whole lot of it. Um, I'm going to grind some salt so it's a little bit finer half a teaspoon of salt or less if you don't do salt it's not going to hurt it a little bit we have two watchers helpers assistants in here tonight white pepper i'm losing things um, yeah jen, jen says the cocktail contributes to the warmth it does you are right i'm mm -hmm. going to be beat red by the end of the night um some sort of that's from the grenadine some sort of chili pepper, cayenne pepper, something a little on the spicy side. I'm, I'm my go-to is Aleppo pepper. Red pepper flakes would work. Okay, we're gonna kind of mix that up a little right. bit. What? So, I'm gonna remake the drink for those oh. that were late to the party. Well, I can pause. You can. No, oh, you're fine. Do that. I'm gonna stir the rice. Whew, we're going to turn that down just a bit. I better get a new, new sticker. Um, you show them. I can stop over here. For oh, a I'm, I'm getting the rice, the uh, the cherries. The cherries. Okay. 
And I'm going to empty my lime juice, and it's about a tablespoon. And about the same in honey or molasses. Mm -hmm. I don't particularly like molasses, so I'm going to use honey. Local, of course. Of course. Okay. It's the only way. So you ready? For my cocktail. Yeah, go ahead. All right. You'll have to. Yeah. I can revisit. All right. So to repeat the cocktail for those that were tardy. <laughs> I think they're tardy on purpose, just to make you make another one. To make me make another cocktail, we're going to use. Oh, that is so good. Four ounces pineapple juice. Get that, folks. Four ounces pineapple juice. Louder for the people in the back. Yep. Two ounces Tito's vodka. Try to get the big bottle because you're going to use it. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. That's hard. Half an ounce lime juice. Freshly squeezed, of course. Gotta love it whenever it squeezes back. You know. I do. I enjoy that. So we're gonna stir it up a little bit. Got the bar spoon. A little bit of grenadine. Use the bar spoon on the side. And just a splash. As it drips down to the bottom, because <laughs> grenadine is denser than the <coughs> cocktail ingredients. Garnish with two cherries. <coughs> Move it, squirts. And there you go. One cocktail. You want me to get you back over to that or no? No. I mean. Oh, actually, that's looking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And a couple of things that I'll talk about that I flubbed already. And I almost always flub with rice. Look at that. that this looks wonderful. Okay, I'll talk about it now. So it's going to be hard for you to see. Um, no, I can see it pretty well. I did not rinse my rice, so it's going to be a little on the sticky side. Ugh. And shame to be totally honest with you, this has some salt and some pepper in it and yeah. some allspice. You could make this dessert rice right now with um, some nutmeg and some cinnamon and some other kind of warm spices and kind of be done if you want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we're going to shift to the other and do the savory. Yes. God, that looks good. But it's it smells be, really good, too. Yeah, it's going to be very creamy because of that coconut milk, yeah. which is fine. Um, okay. Perfect. So if you want to shift back over here. There you go. I dumped my bag of pre-cut frozen vegetables. They're still a little bit frozen. Um, and instead of chopping them on the cutting board, take scissors and go through. Because um, we're not being judged on chopped, and we're not being graded in culinary school. We're trying to get dinner on the table for a family. That's right. So if they're not perfect and beautiful, who cares? We are they're looking for, the same. for taste. Yeah. Um, now, I will say you kind of want them somewhat uniform, but that's okay, too. Oh, um, so I'm going to taste that and see how close we are here. Well, here. That's okay. I got it. Ooh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. It smells delicious. Oh, we've got quite a ways to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that is good though. Just by itself. Um, I am actually going to add a little bit more liquid to it. Oh, gosh. That, that drink is delicious. So that's another thing with doing rice on the stove top. You might find that you need more liquid in it than what you initially thought. What if you need too 
less liquid. <laughs> you need less liquid, you're going to have to drain some off probably in the end. Oh. Or could you just add more rice? Yeah, but it's not going to cook the same. Oh. You'll have raw rice and cooked rice. Oh, that's not going to be fun. So, um, I'm not going to add this yet. But. Flip, flip back to where we can talk. There we go. Yeah. So if I were doing this in the Instant Pot, <clears throat> a couple of things with, with an Instant Pot with cooking anything. You need you need liquid, and you need a minimum of, of a cup of water in addition to whatever liquid. But because it builds pressure and creates steam, you're looking at a little bit less water than what would be stove top. Mm -hmm. So you have to do some conversions, um, which I didn't take time to do tonight, which is why we're here and not there. Um, but you also want to, if you're using anything, um, coconut milk, probably not, not so much of an issue, but things that tend to foam like beer <laughs> would be a foamy issue. Um, you want to put oil, butter, something in the instant pot with your recipe rice to kind of cut that foam back. Otherwise you're going to have a mess in your instant pot. So sometimes it's just, you know, easier and safer to yeah. go old school. And it, honestly with rice, it doesn't. <laughs> It's not any faster necessarily in the instant pot. It's just a, you know, set it and forget it situation. So don't have to stir it. Don't have to mm -mm. go play with it. No, but you know what we do have to do? Shrimp. We have to shrimp. Shrimps. What are we doing with shrimps? We got to take the tails off the shrimps. <laughs> I am capable of doing that. So is that the good stuff? That's the good stuff. Okay. Um, but they don't want to watch us do that. We're going to talk a little bit more about well, I'm gonna put, our... I'm going to put shrimps in here. Okay. I'm going to... Where am I going here? We're going to go over here. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So this was the mix I was working on a while ago. I've got not quite two pounds. I think they were 12-ounce bags of shrimp. Not quite a pound. Um, Extra large jumbos, they're 26 mm -hmm. count, meaning 26, give or take, shrimp in a pound. Approximately, yeah. Approximately. And if you'll scooch over just a bit, I'll show them. These are pre-cooked, deveined, peeled, tail is still on. Make this easy. Grab where the tail um, starts, where they've like peeled it off and left the tail. Grab there, grab here, pinch, pull. And I need I'll get us something to put those in, or you're just sticking them back in the oh yeah. Um putting them back in the trash bowl. And if you do that, you'll get through a couple pounds of shrimp in pretty short order. Unless you're crossing streams with your husband. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> Um, but again, a shortcut, and these are going to get tossed in this, and they're going to sit for a bit, and they're going to go under the broiler um, for a couple minutes, and then a bit of a stir to toss them, or turn them, or flip them, or whatever. Another minute or two at the most, and then they're done. Um, these have been thawing for a bit, and this one I just picked up was still a bit frozen. That's okay. It's going to do its thing under the broiler and be just fine. Now, if you were starting with raw shrimp, it's a lot longer of a process, uh, especially if it, sorry, if they have their, you know, shells and whatnot, then it's a much longer process. So, shortcuts is the name of the game this evening, and cooked, peeled, deveined, tail on shrimp is one of my favorites. Done. Um. I'm going to check our rice. You'd think we'd shucked shrimp before. Shucked shrimp? Yeah. Shelled shrimp? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. Okay. So, before we do anything with the shrimp, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little bit of a Back, back and, and forth, forth, back and forth, tonight, back and yeah. forth. Well, I'm going to put about half of this in. I'm going to squeeze some of the liquid out. We're going to start with about half of it. We'll see where we go. 
But again, these are already cooked. Anything I have left over will go in scrambled eggs, omelets, who knows what this week. Sugar, stinker. In fact, I might make some seafood chowder and use some of this this week. All right, I stirred it. Okay, we're gonna do the same with corn. Again, frozen, already cooked, so all you have to do is add it in. We'll see how that turns out. And we'll do the pineapple once it's all cooked and ready. Yeah, you know, we could probably use some more vegetables, you think? Mm, no, I think we're good. <laughs> okay, one more handful. I figured it was coming anyway. Just for color. <laughs> yeah. I'm drinking my vitamins tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Wasn't planning on eating a whole lot of them, but I guess I am. You're going to, but it's it's <laughs> yummy. It tastes good. I believe you. I know it tastes good. So this is like a, a perfect cold and flu season dinner because we've got lots of vegetables, vegetables and garlic we've garlic mm -hmm. we've got pineapple juice we've got lime juice we've got honey that is yeah, natural honey local antibiotic honey. yeah we're just this is going to keep you from getting sick now here's the deal right now this is it that's all it's going to do not only does it taste good oh i'm not even cooked yet <laughs> i mean technically they're cooked but uh, oh no that's good <laughs> and so mm -hmm. I've not made them that way mm. before with that mm. particular blend of spices. Just enough sweet wow. and just enough heat, yeah. Yeah, that's delicious. Okay, cover that back up. So it won't take that rice more than a few minutes. So under the broiler, now, grilling season, I'd skewer these, throw them on the grill, or throw them on a grill pan and on the grill. Mm -hmm. um, you could do them stovetop in a skillet. We're going to throw them under the broiler. Why not? So where's the pineapple chunks go? In the rice. Oh. Um, now, this has honey and brown sugar, so it will easily scorch. If you leave it too long, if you leave it just right, it will caramelize. Man, that, that's really good. Good, nice little kick of heat. Yeah, they're good. They'd make good little salad shrimp just like this. Well, yeah, but those aren't really salad shrimp size. No, but like if you had, yeah. But you, I, you know what? You know what I mean. I would not kick that out of bed for being a salad shrimp. <laughs> when you're using your broiler in your oven, you guys can't see this, but rat goes close to the top. Otherwise, you won't get enough heat. Be careful because that is going to be hot. I actually like sticky rice, especially with this kind of mash up. Now, I chose these vegetables because that's what I have and what I like. Carrots, peas, you know, whatever you want in yeah. here. You want it all? Uh, no. Okay, too much. Yeah, that's plenty. All right, so pineapple went in. And again, just canned pineapple. And we might add a little kick to this. It might need it. Pop. Yeah, I need some kick. Okay. What kind of kick are we giving it? We're going to mimic what we did with the shrimp and add some Aleppo pepper. Sweet. I love and Aleppo. Maybe a little. Onion powder. Oh, that looks so good. I'll stir that up. I will gladly stir this up. Okay. And we have pineapple left over. So now, whoop, sorry. Now we wait. What are we waiting on? The shrimpers? We're waiting on some shrimp. Okay. 
waiting on that to get done. Well, this there. looks done, I'm telling you. Well, it's still a little crunchy. Well, Not much. Probably crunchier than what you want, to be honest. Ooh, give me a spoon. Well, there's a spoon right there. Um, <laughs> this thing here has kicked up and won't go away. What? Oh, there it goes. Oh. Computer issues. Sugar baby, you're in the way, honey. All right. So the shrimp's already cooked, so we're really just kind of waiting for them to um, blister. Oh, well, not really blister. Um, caramelize. That's a good word. A good uh, word. Caramelize. Caramelize on top. Let's see what kind of comments we have. We don't really have a whole lot. They're just watching intently. Mm -hmm. Me being my own Caribbean island. Yeah, it's a little crunchy. Not bad, Bob. No, yeah, you just kind of have to Can't babysit a little bit, yeah. If the crunchy is from the vegetales? It's, or it's the, the rice. Is it? Those vegetables don't have enough crunch left. Okay. <laughs> so, we will go to a commercial break. Jen says she's doing dishes. Oh, it's okay. Cocktail break or commercial break? <laughs> Cocktail break. Cocktail break. Kick it back out to the big, the wide screen. I don't know if the dog is cold or just knows there's food in the oven. She knows there's food in the oven. That's why she's there. I'm surprised that she's the only one in here. You're a stink. I don't even know where the other one is. No, either. Okay. You're going to have to move. Go. Shh. I can't see them. Last thing I want to do is burn the shrimps. Yeah, we don't want to burn the shrimps. Mm -mm. It might take a little bit longer than what I gave well, credit for. Because we didn't preheat the oven. We don't really preheat on a broiler. Yeah, you do. Okay. You gotta preheat a broiler just as much as you gotta preheat well, an oven. I babysit. I got one little one, Brady. Um, second season, I didn't see any that were within the shooting time limits. I'll go back. I have to blow my nose. <laughs> that were close enough to shoot. So I only saw three second season. We saw probably 30 first season. Um, but the only one I got was at dusk on the second night and it was a little itty bitty yearling so it'll be tender though that's it will be yeah. and it will be yummy it'll be yummy and tender we'll have to take pictures of our christmas um mm -hmm. project yeah christmas dinner project excuse me yeah i don't know what caught my nose something did me <laughs> this rice is done Hey. All right. So you ready? Do you have any luck? Any of you other hunters out there? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's some recipes out on uh, Nikki's website, rootedinfoods.com. Mm, a few venison recipes. A few venison, venison recipes. Not much. I need to add to that particular section. Mm -hmm. We've done a couple shows with venison. Mm -hmm. Not a ton, though. All right, this is done. I'm going to show them. The you know, red meat tends to take a bit to cook. so Finish it with some salt. Yeah, it's a little difficult to do venison on here without being on here forever. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's what we look like. Well, yeah, the light's not great in here. Um, we'll get it underneath this one over here when we get everything done. So it is a little on the sticky side. That's okay, though. 
Well, and see, I like sticky rice. I like rice pudding, kind of rice, unless I'm eating it. You want me to move it over? Chinese food, and then I don't. But um, yes, now move it over. Yeah, if you want. To. Was that going to be okay? No, just hold it. Oh, okay. Here, grief. I'm doing that. I need to at least move this. Now it'll be see. okay. There. A little bit better. There. Eat better? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Okay. So, a little on the sticky side. Now, if you rinse your rice and get all of that starch off the outside, mm -hmm. um, then you'll have fluffy and not sticky. But I don't really care. That, and I got to tell you, oh. that risotto spoon probably made it a little creamy too. So now we wait. We don't do magic of television here on this show. Nope. No we magic are in TV. Real time. Sometimes real that kitchen. We... Real time. Yep. Those are probably done. They've, they've got released. moisture. Yeah, well, they've released a lot they... of moisture. Yeah. Here, hold it up. Move, yeah. Go for it. Now, here's something we can do if you want. I can dump that into there and give it a little extra flavor. <laughs> All right. So there's our shrimps. Again, the lighting, guys. Sorry. We're going to plate some up, though. How's that? Sounds good to me. Um, how about I do something a little... different. Mm -hmm. Oh, bowls. Yes, bowls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rice. With a scooper. Ice cream scoop. There we go. Oops, lost one. You're going to have to put more on there because there's only three of us. Going to. I'm just making it pretty. Gotcha. <laughs> they can't see you making it pretty. No, I can. know. No, they can't. There we go. And just because. There. They can see that. Yep. I'll eat this one. I'm going to put a little bit of a sprinkle on top just for some color. Mm. All right. There it is, folks. How'd we <clears throat> do? 713? Yeah. 712, 713. So, I mean, you could plate that on a regular plate and be all fancy with it, but um, thank you. You might Come not, you might, you might want to put it cool down just a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be okay. So, rainbow confetti rice mm -hmm. inspired. Got it? Oh, yeah. It's hot. You can probably maybe see the steam coming off of it. <laughs> mm. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. You need to try that one. That coconut milk. Wow. That was delicious, folks. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to wait now. <laughs> yep. Um, so, pretty simple. Yeah. And again, the coconut milk really made that creamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not rinsing the rice made it creamy, too. Um, shrimp you can do under the broiler, stovetop. On the grill, indoor grill. Uh -huh. um, air fryer, honestly, you could use that too. Right. In a pinch, if you had to. And we're good. We're done. Yep, that's delicious. And that will even be good for breakfast. Well, it will. So, All right, everybody. Thanks for watching us tonight. We're done in 45 minutes. Cocktails. Full meal. In a full meal. Hot. Single moms, 
or not single moms or not single moms. convenience foods sometime yeah. that's the way to go yeah when you need to so we used frozen corn frozen peppers and onion mix mm -hmm. frozen already cooked and mostly processed shrimp yep um dumped some things out of a can and added some spices canned pineapples. and canned pineapple coconut milk yep. we used freshly squeezed lime juice <laughs> <laughs> and freshly squeezed pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. So <laughs> freshly squeezed vodka. Yeah, and freshly squeezed vodka. So we are um, we're good. We're gonna go eat. Holler yep. at my kid. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining. We'll figure out what we're gonna do next week. It's um, we'll have another be a little bit warmer next week, I think. We're gonna go a little Christmassy. We probably need to be a little Christmassy next week because we're we're hedging yeah. close, aren't we? Yeah. So. All right, folks, we'll figure that part out, and we will see you next week. We'll, we'll make a Christmas a, a cocktail that you can leave for Santa Claus. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, uh, yep. All right, but no cookies because I don't bake. No. That is no lie. She does not. It's bad. It's, Sorry. It's horrible. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week on that yeah. note. Have a great week. Yeah, bye. -bye. <laughs>